Homonyms cause problems for students. Why? Because homonyms are words that have the same spelling but different meanings. One such homonym is bow or bow. This has two distinct pronunciations and several very different meanings. When pronounced with the diphthong o, as in bow, bow has several meanings. The first meaning of bow is a weapon used to shoot arrows. Arrows are fired from a bow by a bowman or an archer. The sport of shooting arrows from a bow is called archery. We have an expression in English that uses bow. If I learn a new skill, I can say that I've added another string to my bow. To add more strings to your bow means to learn to do more useful things. You probably don't know it, but you have a bow too. It's your Cupid's bow, and it's formed by your top lip. Cupid was the Roman god of love. Cupid uses his bow to fire his arrows willy-nilly. Anyone struck by one of Cupid's arrows falls hopelessly in love. This is why a popular motif of love is a heart shot through with an arrow. The shape of your upper lip is said to resemble Cupid's bow. In music, a bow is the thing that's used to play musical instruments like cellos and violins. Music bows used to be curved like an archer's bow, and that's where the name comes from. These days, however, the bow is straight. There are horsehairs stretched from one end of the bow to the other. When the bow is drawn across the strings, the strings vibrate and the sound is produced. A bow is also used to describe the way that girls tie ribbons in their hair. Bows are also used to decorate presents. A bow tie is a type of men's neckwear. A bow tie is worn on formal occasions. Those who wear such ribbons around their necks believe that they exude class and sophistication. Here's me a couple of years ago. What do you think? Classy? Sophisticated? I've hardly changed. So that's the first pronunciation, bow. The other pronunciation of this homonym is bow. Bow can mean to bend at the waist as a show of respect. Schwa, can you help me for a moment, Schwa? Schwa. Hi, Schwa. I really need your help. Oh, go on, be a sport. Look at all the people watching you. Yes, there are millions of them. And they all want you to help them understand the word bow. You're really good at this, Schwa, and everyone loves you. No, it's true, honestly. I just need you to demonstrate a bow. Yes, that's it. That's a bow. Thank you, Schwa. See you soon. A bow is also the front part of a ship or a boat. The bow is the part that cuts through the water. As the bow cuts through the water, it produces a bow wave. These people are standing at the bow of a ship on the Panama Canal. So now you know the difference between bow and bow. But before you go, I think I should mention a couple of homophones too. Homophones are words that sound the same as other words but have different meanings. Homophones often have different spellings too. Take for instance the word bow. It's pronounced exactly the same as the word bow, but it's spelt completely differently. A bow is a thick branch of a tree. And then we've got a homophone of bow. The homophone of bow is bow. 
Same sound, very different spelling. Beau is another word for a boyfriend. How on earth are you supposed to know how to pronounce such words? Well, luckily, there's a way to make sure you always use the correct pronunciation. The way is the British IPA chart. The British IPA chart has 44 symbols. Each symbol represents one of the 44 sounds of British English. Learn the symbols and their sounds, and you'll never mispronounce a word again. The easiest way to learn these essential symbols is to download my ebook. You can find it at soundsbritish.com. I'll be back with a new video English lesson soon. Goodbye for now.